Imagine a land untouched by time, where ancient temples whisper tales of grandeur and the landscape is a canvas of breathtaking panoramas. Welcome to Cambodia, a nation that's a potent cocktail of rich history, stunning natural beauty, and a cultural heritage that's as vibrant as it is diverse. Picture this, centuries-old temples that stand as a testament to the architectural splendors of the Khmer Empire, their stones etched with intricate carvings and shrouded in mystery. These magnificent structures, like the iconic Angkor Wat, are not mere buildings, they are tangible threads that weave together the fabric of Cambodia's illustrious past. As you walk through the bustling streets of Phnom Penh, the capital city, you'll see a different side of Cambodia's history, one colored by the brushstrokes of European influence. French colonial architecture, with its charming shuttered windows and ornate balconies, paints a picture of a time when East met West in a fascinating cultural exchange. But Cambodia isn't just about relics and remnants of the past, it's about the here and now. It's about the vibrant markets that burst with color and life, where you can haggle over silk scarves, sample exotic fruits, or simply soak in the sights and sounds of everyday Cambodian life. Yet what truly sets Cambodia apart is its people. Despite a history marred by conflict and hardship, Cambodians exude a warmth, resilience and spirit that's genuinely inspiring. Their smiles are infectious, their hospitality legendary, and their resilience a testament to the indomitable human spirit. From the sacred halls of Angkor Wat, to the lively markets of Phnom Penh, from the rustic charm of rural villages, to the pristine beauty of its beaches, Cambodia is a symphony of experiences that captivates, engages, and inspires. A journey through Cambodia is like stepping into the pages of a living history book, where every corner holds a story waiting to be told. Welcome to the start of an adventure that promises to be as enriching as it is unforgettable. Welcome to Cambodia. No visit to Cambodia would be complete without witnessing the majestic Angkor Wat, an enduring symbol of Cambodia's rich past. Imagine stepping back through the mists of time to an era of grandeur, where stone and spirit intertwined. That's what it feels like when you first set eyes on Angkor Wat. This colossal temple complex, built in the 12th century, is not just a testament to the architectural prowess of the ancient Khmer Empire, but also a deeply revered symbol of the nation's identity. Sprawling over 400 acres, Angkor Wat is recognized as the world's largest religious monument. It's a breathtaking sight, with its soaring towers mimicking the shape of lotus buds, extensive bas-reliefs, and countless devadas adorning its walls. Every stone, every carving, every corner of this vast complex tells a story, a whisper from the past that echoes through the centuries. But Angkor Wat is more than just an architectural marvel. It's a sacred space, a spiritual epicenter that has drawn pilgrims and seekers for centuries. Its very design is a representation of the Hindu cosmological belief of Mount Meru, the abode of the gods. The central tower symbolizes the mythical mountain's peak, while the moat surrounding the complex represents the cosmic oceans. Declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1992, Angkor Wat has become a beacon for scholars and travelers alike. Its historical significance is undeniable, a living testament to a time when the Khmer Empire was the largest in Southeast Asia. Despite the ravages of time and the encroaching jungle, the temple remains largely intact, standing as a proud reminder of Cambodia's glorious past. Yet, it's not just the past that Angkor Wat represents. It's a symbol of resilience, of a nation that has survived and thrived despite numerous trials. It's a testament to the enduring human spirit, to our capacity to create, to aspire, and to transcend. Angkor Wat, a testament of time, stands as an indomitable symbol of the human spirit's capability to create marvels. So when you visit Cambodia, don't just see Angkor Wat, experience it, feel its heartbeat, listen to its stories, because every stone, every carving, every corner has a tale to tell, a tale of time, of history, of humanity. From the grandeur of Angkor Wat, we move to the mysterious Bayan Temple, known for its serene stone faces. As we delve deeper into Cambodia's rich history, the Bayan Temple stands as a silent sentinel, a testament to the country's glorious past. Set in the heart of Angkor Thom, the last capital of the Khmer Empire, the Bayon Temple is an architectural marvel. Constructed in the late 12th century by King Jayavarman VII, it was the centerpiece of his massive building program. The temple was modified and augmented by later Hindu and Theravada Buddhist kings in accordance with their own religious preferences. 
The Bayon Temple's most distinctive feature is the multitude of serene and smiling stone faces on the many towers jutting out from the upper terrace and clustering around its central peak. These faces, each unique yet similar, are thought to represent Lokeshvara, a bodhisattva who embodies the compassion of all Buddhas. Some scholars suggest that the faces bear a striking resemblance to the king himself, suggesting a message of omnipresence. The temple is built in a unique architectural style, a rich decoration of bas reliefs showing a combination of mythological, historical, and mundane scenes. The outer gallery tells the story of everyday life in 12th century Cambodia, with scenes of marketplaces, fishing, festivals, and more. The inner gallery, on the other hand, depicts historical events and scenes from Hindu mythology. The temple's central mass, a maze of galleries, chambers, and stairways, is a marvel of architectural ingenuity. The upper terrace offers breathtaking views of the surrounding jungle, creating a sense of tranquility amidst the architectural grandeur. The Bayon Temple, with its enigmatic faces and intricate design, continues to draw visitors from all over the world. It stands as a symbol of Cambodia's rich cultural heritage, a monument to a bygone era that continues to captivate and inspire. The temple's stone faces with their serene smiles and enigmatic gaze seem to whisper tales of the past, their silent words echoing through the corridors of time. The enigmatic faces of Bayon Temple continue to mesmerize visitors, echoing the serene wisdom of the ages. Next on our journey is to Prome, a temple where nature and history intertwine in a stunning embrace. This temple, a jewel in the crown of Cambodia's rich history, is a testament to the enduring potency of nature and our persistent fascination with the past. Taprom is more than just a temple, it's a time capsule, a living museum that offers a glimpse into an era long past. Built in the late 12th and early 13th centuries, it served as a Buddhist monastery and university. This sacred site was once home to over 10,000 people, including monks, laymen, and officials. Today it stands as a humbling testament to the grandeur of the Khmer Empire, an empire whose artistic and architectural prowess is still evident in the intricate carvings and towering edifices of Taprom. Yet, what truly sets Taprom apart is its unique relationship with the surrounding jungle. Unlike other temples, Taprom was left largely unrestored, allowing nature to reclaim its territory. Massive tree roots snake their way through the temple's walls and terraces, their tendrils intertwining with the ancient stones in an otherworldly display. This interplay of nature and architecture lends Taprom a mystical charm, a sense of forgotten grandeur frozen in time. You may recognize this enchanting backdrop from the silver screen. Taprom gained international fame as a filming location for the movie Tomb Raider. The temple's eerie beauty and the hauntingly beautiful marriage of stone and vine provided the perfect setting for the film's adventure-filled narrative. Yet, the true magic of Taprom lies not in its cinematic appeal, but in the silent stories it tells. Each stone, each root, each carving whisper tales of a bygone era, of a civilization that once thrived, of nature's relentless march. They speak of time's passage, of human endeavor, and of the enduring power of nature. Taprom, in its beautiful ruin, stands as a poetic reminder of nature's power and endurance. This temple, shrouded in mystery and cloaked in foliage, continues to captivate and inspire, a symbol of Cambodia's enduring allure. Away from the ancient temples, let's delve into the vibrant life of Phnom Penh, Cambodia's bustling capital. As we navigate through the city, you can't help but notice a royal grandeur that envelops the air. This is most evident at the Royal Palace, a complex of buildings which serves as the king's residence. It's a symbol of the kingdom, with its traditional Khmer roofs and ornate gilding, a sight that leaves visitors in awe. A stone's throw away, the National Museum stands as a testament to Cambodia's rich heritage. Housing the world's largest collection of Khmer art, it offers a fascinating journey through the country's history and culture, from the Angkorian period to the present day. But Phnom Penh is not just about historical grandeur. It's a city that pulsates with life, especially when the sun goes down. The city's nightlife is a vibrant mix of rooftop bars, night markets, and riverside promenades. The culinary scene is equally exciting, offering everything from street food stalls serving local dishes like Num Pong, a Cambodian sandwich, to high-end restaurants offering a fusion of Khmer and international cuisines. And then there are the markets. The central market, with its distinctive Art Deco architecture, is a labyrinth of stalls selling everything from fresh produce to silks and jewelry. The Russian market, 
named for its popularity among Russian expats in the 80s, is a treasure trove of antiques, handicrafts, and clothing. But what truly sets Phnom Penh apart is its resilience. This is a city that has faced the horrors of the Khmer Rouge era, yet has emerged with a spirit that is nothing short of inspiring. The city, much like the country, is a blend of the old and the new, a testament to Cambodia's ability to honor its past while embracing the future. Phnom Penh, with its vibrant energy and resilience, is the beating heart of modern Cambodia. From the bustling city, we move to the serene shores of Sihanoukville, Cambodia's premier beach town. This coastal gem, nestled on the Gulf of Thailand, offers a perfect blend of tranquil relaxation and vibrant exploration. Sihanoukville is a town adorned with a necklace of beautiful beaches, each bead unique in its own way. Picture stretches of powder-soft sand, caressed by gentle waves under a vast expanse of cloudless sky. Serendipity Beach, Okutil Beach, and Otras Beach are among the popular spots where turquoise waters meet golden sands, creating a beach lover's dream. Just a stone's throw away, the offshore islands offer an idyllic escape. Koh Rong, the largest island, is a haven of untouched beauty, with jungles, waterfalls, and scenic trails. Its sister island, Koh Rong Samloam, is equally enchanting, with its secluded beaches and clear waters teeming with marine life. A boat trip to these islands is more than a journey. It's an adventure into a world where nature reigns supreme. Now let's not forget the vibrant seafood scene that Sihanoukville boasts. The town's coastal location means fresh catch graces the tables of local eateries every day. From grilled fish to stir-fried crab, the seafood dishes here are a feast for the senses. The Psar Loi Market, the largest traditional market in town, is a must-visit for seafood enthusiasts. Here, you can witness the town's culinary heartbeat, with an array of seafood, fresh fruits, and local delicacies. Sihanoukville is not just another beach town, it's a significant gateway to Cambodia's stunning islands. Beyond the sand and surf, it's a place where you can immerse yourself in the local culture, savor delectable cuisine, and witness the harmony of man and nature. Sihanoukville, with its azure waters and sandy beaches, is a seaside paradise that completes the Cambodian experience. As our journey through Cambodia comes to an end, we are left with a kaleidoscope of unforgettable experiences. Our voyage began with the Testament of Time, Angkor Wat. The world's largest religious monument, its stone faces seem to whisper tales of a bygone era. Its intricate carvings, sprawling courtyards, and towering spires have made it not only a symbol of Cambodia, but a symbol of human resilience and creativity. From there, we moved on to the Bayon Temple, where the many serene stone faces greeted us with a calmness that transcended time. Nestled in the heart of Angkor Thom, it offered us a glimpse into the spiritual core of the Khmer Empire and left us in awe of its architectural magnificence. In the embrace of nature, we found tranquility in the Kulin Mountain, a place of worship, a natural wonder, and a historical site all rolled into one. Its waterfall, the Thousand Lingus River, and the reclining Buddha offered us a serene retreat from the bustling city life. The pulse of modern Cambodia pulsed through the streets of Phnom Penh, its vibrant markets, thriving food scene, and rich history, encapsulated in the Royal Palace and the Silver Pagoda, painted a picture of a nation that beautifully blends tradition with modernity. We also got a taste of the pristine beaches and unspoiled islands of Sihanoukville, Cambodia's coastal gem. Its white sand beaches, crystal clear waters, and vibrant nightlife made it a perfect getaway. Each of these places offered us a different facet of Cambodia's rich history, culture, and natural beauty. Yet, they all had one thing in common, the warmth and hospitality of the Cambodian people. Their smiles, their stories, their resilience, and their spirit have been the constant thread weaving through our journey, making it all the more memorable. Cambodia, with its enduring charm and timeless beauty, invites you to step into its narrative and create your own tales of adventure.